It's official. Students at six local schools will be heading into a building with a new name this fall. Schools named after Robert E. Lee, Joseph Finnegan, Stonewall Jackson, Kirby Smith, Jeb Stewart, and Jefferson Davis will all have new names effective August 3rd. News for Jack's reporter Joe McLean joining us live at Lee High School. Joe, the focus now turns to collecting the money for all these changes through public donations. Right, and fundraising organizers say that now that the name changes are a done deal, donors are getting energized because now it's a definite plan and not a tentative one. And those donations, well, they're already rolling in. The Duval County School Board heard from supporters and opponents. They heard from young people. It makes me feel like we're crazy to not have already changed these names long ago. And old. If y'all vote to change the names tonight, y'all are committed to doing that. You're committed to paying for it. Nobody else is. And when the votes were cast, six Duval County Public Schools were slated for new names. In total, the district estimates the cost of renaming all six schools to be around $825,000. That includes signage, the school's letterhead, and pricier items in the middle and high schools like gym floors, sports equipment, team uniforms, and a new mascot for Lee High School. According to the superintendent, some of those costs are already being covered. We are very fortunate to have the Jacksonville Jaguars step up for our students through their foundation. They have agreed to pay for all home uniforms uh, for all the secondary schools. That, coupled with a deal with Nike, totals a commitment of more than $300,000, according to the Jacksonville Public Education Fund. Donations are also coming in from the public. Since last night's vote by the board, dozens of contributions have been pouring into the JPEF's online donation form. Also, we're really excited that um, people are just feeling really good, that we have made this huge step forward as a community, and I believe um, we'll see continued support as a result. The plan presented last night would see the school district contribute $200,000 from its beverage sponsorship contract, which are not taxpayer dollars, and the rest from private donations. Right now, JPEF says the fundraising finish line is about a quarter million more dollars to fully fund the school name changes in Duval County. And here's a look at the JPEF's uh, donations tracker right now. It's approaching $71,000. It was significantly less uh, last night. A $50,000 uh, donation came in. And this is also not counting another $10,000 that was uh, sent to the district. And, of course, those donations from the, the Jaguars that uh, Dr. Green mentioned, that's more than $300,000. So, again, a lot of donations already coming in. Reporting live, I'm Joe McLean, Channel 4, The Local Station.